Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 best restaurants in Rome. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Most people are aware of how much Italians love their cuisine, and that if they visit Italy, they will be in for a culinary feast. In Rome, there are many wonderful restaurants and hip hotels, but as with any big city, it's all too simple to locate a terrible one. After spending two years in the Italian city, I hope my knowledge will assist you in avoiding the worst Rome eateries. Some businesses demand reservations, while others may require you to wait in line. Don't be put off by a long line at a restaurant, it's a positive sign that you've found a particularly wonderful one. Romans can't get enough of the restaurants in and around Trastevere on weekends. This is a fantastic region with many traditional trattorias. There are plenty of cheap eateries around Termini, the area surrounding the main station, but I would stay away from it. The food in this area is often of poor quality. Here are 10 of the top restaurants in Rome in my opinion. 1. I Fineroli, best for excellent value. This is a fantastic restaurant in Via Sardegna that comes highly recommended by many knowledgeable travelers. The staff is quite courteous and willing to chat in English, and the restaurant provides a true sense of Rome at a reasonable price. There is a vast variety of options, pizza, spaghetti, meat, and fish are all available, but I Fineroli shines when it comes to their antipasto misto, mixed starter. After that, either a pasta or meat meal should be served. 2. Poppy Poppy, best for atmosphere. Poppy Poppy is a charming restaurant that fills up quickly. Although their pasta and meat are excellent, they are better renowned for their incredible pizzas and lively environment. This cafe, which is located in Trastevere's back streets, is family-friendly and has outside seating. It has a TARDIS-like feel to it. From the outside, it appears modest, but once inside, you'll be shocked at how large it is. 3. Evo R Trastevere, best for pizzas. Poppy Poppy's pizzas are delicious, but this place provides the finest pizza I've ever had. Many guidebooks recommend Evo R Trastevere, and it rarely disappoints. There are many seats outside, which is nice in the summer, and there is a pizza to meet everyone's preferences. There are many interesting combinations to be found here, which is a fantastic reason to return again and again. 4. Trattoria da Lucia, best for traditional pasta dishes. If you're in Trastevere, you must try da Lucia, which is easily one of Rome's top 10 restaurants. This is a traditional Italian restaurant with indoor and outdoor seating. They are best renowned for two pasta dishes, cacio e pepe, and allegrisia, both of which consist of pasta with oil, pepper, and parmigiano, with bacon added for the latter. The owner's father was a former boxer, and there are numerous photographs of him on the wall, capturing him in his prime. During the evenings, you may often see him roaming around the store speaking with customers. 5. Da Giovanni, best for dining with the locals. This is a cozy trattoria located between Trastevere and St. Peter's Basilica. It's a terrific place to stop for lunch or a quick meal, it opens at 7 p.m. I recommend getting there early because it fills up quickly and meals are removed from the menu as the food runs out later in the evening. It's a modest, no-frills establishment that's always bustling with people. Even though tourists are infrequent visitors, the waiter here is fluent in English. 6. Pierluigi. If you had a well-heeled, globe-trotting uncle with a pie de terre near Piazza Navona, he'd probably take you to Pierluigi for lunch. Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan chose it for their honeymoon dinner in May 2012, and Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and John Kerry have all eaten there when in Rome on official or informal visits. It's that kind of restaurant. It's a great place for an alfresco lunch, occupying one half of a pretty, cobbled piazza, and it might easily rest on its laurels. But, astonishingly, it doesn't. Pierluigi has a jewel of a cocktail bar, one of the few true examples of the genre in any Roman restaurant, thanks to a 2010 makeover piloted by longtime owner Lorenzo Lisi, and the hiring of dynamic young chef David Chianetti in 2014 upped the game in the kitchen. On a menu that pairs Pierluigi classics like beef fillet with lemon, slow cooked for 24 hours and served in carpaccio thin slices, with more creative forays like orecchiette with turnip greens, cuttlefish ragu, and tirali crisps, his approach is to use the freshest ingredients. A mixed salad with fresh pears, pecorino cheese, and pomegranates, a gorgeous, impressionist canvas for the ultimate supermodel lunch, displays squeaky fresh raw seafood prominently among the starters. 7. Armando al Pantheon. The search for the ideal family-run Roman trattoria has come to an end. The fact that Armando is located just close to the Pantheon, in the historic center, is the cherry on top. 
Armando Gargioli opened it in 1961, and it quickly became a hotspot for fans of classic Roman cuisine. The trattoria is now run by Armando's friendly sons Claudio and Fabrizio, in the kitchen, and Fabrizio, who takes orders, with the help of Claudio's multilingual daughter Fabiana, who is in care of the orders as well as the delightfully refined, but also reasonably priced, wine list. Beyond the charming marigold stained glass windows at the entrance, there's only one room. But what a lovely room it is, an elegant Roman snug lined with framed paintings and sketches by artistic clients, where local politicians, office workers, artists, and well-informed visitors mingle in a conspiracy of pleasure at simply being here. Many of the dishes on the menu are seasonal, spring salad of punterelle, asparagus chicory, in anchovy sauce, or only available on particular days of the week, if it's Thursday, it must be coda alla vaccinara, oxtail stew. However, the cuisine is lighter than normal for Rome, there are various fish dishes available, particularly on Tuesdays and Fridays, and vegetarians are well catered for. 8. Brocioli. This gourmet hotspot on Via dei Giubinari is essentially a food store with tables. But what a grocery store. On the left, a deli counter brimming with artisanal salamis, cheeses, and smoked salmon, and on the right, a wine cellar, or at least a portion of one, packed high on metal racks with bottles. A few two-seaters allow you to gaze out the front at the mozzarella and mortadella action. More tables are jammed into the compact main space behind the counter, which features exposed brick walls, and a downstairs dining room, not our favorite space, as it feels removed from the Roscioli buzz. This was the first and is still the best, of a handful of Roman deli restaurants, run by brothers Alessandro and Pierluigi Roscioli then there are the Roman classics, which are created with ultra-refined ingredients, for example, a carbonara sauce made with guanciale bacon and pecorino romano cheese, Malaysian black pepper, and eggs provided by Paolo Parisi, an Italian organic egg master. Regulars understand that what's stated on the carter is only a recommendation. One of my dear friends makes it a point to never, ever order anything off the menu exactly as it appears. 9. Babette. Best for buffet options. This restaurant, which is near Piazza del Popolo and discreetly hidden away on the lovely Via Margutta, is one of my favorites. At midday, there is a popular buffet option that costs only 15 euros and 50 cents. While it may not appear to be the most cost-effective option, it will allow you to sample as many wonderful options as possible. When the evening arrives, the buffet is no longer available, and the restaurant serves dinner a la carte. 10. Piccolo Arancio, best all-rounder. The Trevi di Fontana, Trevi Fountain, is just around the corner from this conveniently placed eatery. It's a great place to visit after a day of sightseeing around Piazza Navona and Spagna, the Spanish steppes. They feature a diverse and remarkable menu with excellent meat dishes and specialties that should not be overlooked. This is a popular eatery that serves a variety of dishes. Queues are likely, but the wait is well worth it. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and also press the bell icon so that you can get notification about our new videos. If it was helpful then share it with others. Thanks for watching the video.